Well, peregrine falcons, they are typically a cliff-dwelling species, more in a natural area. But here in New York City and other cities around the world, since they're a worldwide species, they do adapt quite well to bridges, buildings, towers. And for the last almost three decades, the Port Authority has hosted a pair of endangered peregrine falcons nesting on the bridge itself. This year, in 2025, we had three young, a young female and two young males that successfully hatched out. They're just under three weeks of age. That's the ideal age that we come in to put identification bands on the birds to keep track of how long they live and where they may fly off to once they leave this nest site. In New York City, we are at the point where we're probably the most concentrated, populated peregrine falcon nesting in the whole world at this point. We have about 30 nesting pairs throughout the five boroughs of New York City. And because peregrine falcons tend to have a little bit higher mortality their first year of life, the more birds we can get out for each nest the more success we're going to see in future nesting.